Welcome to the battle of the rollups. Today we're diving into why exactly zero knowledge rollups and optimistic rollups have been battling it out for recognition as the most important scaling technology for Ethereum. What are they? How do they differ? And how long until EVM compatible blockchains can benefit from the most important advantages of ZK rollup technology? Let's dive in. Thank you to Synthetix, an original DeFi protocol with exciting new trading products coming out this month. Both zero knowledge and optimistic rollups are technologies used to scale blockchain transactions, attempting to deliver them faster and cheaper. As ZKRs and ORs offer similar benefits, they're competing for adoption and usage by the Ethereum community. Companies and developers are forced to choose between the two options, so the success of either will likely depend on factors such as security, ease of use, developer support, and the overall market demand. For now, the debate is far from over. So before we dive into the potential impact on the DeFi space, let's briefly recap the key differences between zero knowledge and optimistic rollups. In essence, rollups reduce transaction fees by bundling together transactions on layer two and then submitting them to the Ethereum mainnet in batches for finalization, hence the term scalability solutions. So the fact that they can help with Vitalik's dreaded blockchain trilemma, which argues blockchains will always struggle to offer security, scalability, and decentralization at the same time, is why rollups are getting so much attention in the first place. But before we continue with the differences between ZKRs and ORs, a quick word from Synthetix. Synthetix just released their V2 Perpetual Futures trading contracts with the lowest fees of any decentralized perps markets available anywhere outside of a centralized exchange. Synthetix perps are available to trade with up to 25x leverage on Optimism through two partner dApps, Quenta.io and Decentrex.com. The community intends to launch dozens of unique assets and is developing plans for trading incentives by the end of the month. So back into rollups. Optimistic rollups, or ORs, are a scaling solution that use two-layer architecture to process transactions off-chain before settling them on-chain. So how do they really work? Well, ORs rely on the assumption that the vast majority of participants in the network will act honestly, hence the name Optimism. This allows for faster transaction processing. However, withdrawals to the main net have a seven-day delay to allow for fraud to be detected. Validators must therefore post significant collateral, which can be slashed if they submit fraudulent transactions. And what about zero-knowledge rollups? Well, we know they're a scaling solution that uses zero-knowledge proof technology to enable off-chain computation while maintaining the security of on-chain transactions. With ZK rollups, transactions are processed off-chain, reducing the load on the underlying blockchain and increasing the speed of transactions. This makes ZK rollups a highly secure and efficient solution for DeFi applications that require fast and reliable transactions. ZK rollups also promise to rid us of the frustrating seven-day delay of mainnet withdrawals. But the main issue with ZKRs is that their current form is not compatible with Ethereum Virtual Machine, or EVM. So developers can't easily port their code from Ethereum onto currently deployed ZK rollups, which does create an adoption bottleneck. So who's winning the race at the moment? Well, according to L2Beat, the two optimistic rollups, Arbitrum and Optimism, are the leading L2 networks with 51 and 31% of the entire sector's TVL respectively. And that should come as no surprise given the adoption bottleneck faced by ZK rollups, which we just mentioned. You've most likely heard that EVM compatible ZK rollups are about three to six months away. What you might not know is that for the past few years, we've been told the same thing perpetually according to Stephen Goldfeder, co-founder of Offchain Labs. According to Goldfeder, there's a narrative out there that ZK rollups will be able to do everything that optimistic rollups do, but better. Yet despite this, he's still bullish on Arbitrum's technology winning. So you might be wondering, with such promising benefits and the very heated debate around them, there has to be a significant difference in use cases, right? Well, each technology does have its own use case, and it's important to understand the differences to determine which is better suited for any particular DeFi application. ZK rollups are used in DeFi applications that require high levels of security and privacy, making them a good fit for DeFi applications involving sensitive financial data, such as lending and borrowing platforms. On the other hand, OAs are already in use in DeFi applications which prioritize speed and efficiency over the absolute security of the system, making them a great fit for scaling DeFi applications that require fast and efficient transactions such as decentralized exchanges. 
Now, going back to the heated crypto Twitter discussion, one of the core contributors to MIR, Mir, a ZK scaling solution, which was acquired by Polygon for $400 million, tweeted saying the best way to scale Ethereum is with ZK, not optimistic rollups. He added that the testnet for Polygon's ZK EVM has already produced 80,000 block proofs and is well on its way for mainnet deployment in less than three months. While we'll have to wait to see if that timeframe holds true, one thing is for certain, proving costs for OX Polygon ZK EVM are tiny at 0.0019 cents for a single Uniswap trade. And that brings us to the conclusion that ZK rollups and ORs are both promising scaling solutions for the entire DeFi space. ZK rollups offer a highly secure and efficient solution for DeFi applications, while ORs offer a balance between speed and security. The choice between the two will ultimately depend on the specific needs and requirements of each DeFi application. As the DeFi ecosystem continues to grow and evolve, we can expect to see further developments in scaling solutions as a whole, including ZK rollups and ORs. So let us know in the comments below which rollup technology you are most excited about using. As always, thank you for tuning into The Defiant. See you again next time.